There's no protocol for women attending. There's no protocol for a man circling the earth either, sir. Every time we have a chance to get ahead, they move the finish line. Every time. We all get there together, we don't get there at all. That's good to know uh, NASA hadn't given up on good old-fashioned brain power. The movie Hidden Figures is nominated in several categories at the 48th annual NAACP Image Awards. And the book that inspired the movie Hidden Figures, The American Dream and the Untold Story of Black Women Mathematicians Who Helped the Space Race, is also nominated. Joining me now on Skype from New Haven, Connecticut, is author and Image Award nominee Margot Lee Shetterly. She has a chance to take home the award for outstanding nonfiction literary work. Margo, congratulations. Thank you. Good morning. It's really nice to be here. I mean, this is black girl magic trifecta. We are all so excited. I know I am personally excited just for all the well do respect that your movie and book are getting. What does this nomination mean to you? It's, I mean, honestly, all of this has been so wonderful. Um, it is an honor. You know, the NAACP is a part of this history. Um, they are the ones who did the long and very difficult work to open, um, integrate schools, which is a big part of the, the story in my book. Um, so it's, it's a huge honor, you know, and um, all of the attention that these, this story and these women have been getting, um, it's, it's marvelous. I mean, these, these are uh, heroes, heroines, and um, they are getting the platform they deserve. Well, look, the book and the movie are taking the world by storm. I think one of the reasons is because people simply didn't know and still don't know the role that women, especially African-American women, played just in all different parts of our history, whether it's civil rights or whether it's in this case just affecting our trajectory in the world. What is it that inspired you to write this book? Uh, well, I was very fortunate because I knew uh, a lot of these women growing up. You know, my dad, he's now retired. He worked at NASA. He worked with these women, um, but they were part of our community, you know? So I think part of the reason why the story wasn't told is because they were doing a lot of other things, like helping their kids with their calculus homework and, you know, um, you know, carpooling and going to church, whatever. So, um, you know, I think that um, that is, uh, you know, one of the reasons why we haven't heard this story before. But, um, you know, the other thing is this this work that these women did was valued less than uh, what the men did and so you know I think that by kind of pulling the curtain back on history what we really understand is that there are so many people doing the work to create those heroic moments that we see as the culmination of a movement, but it's really the culmination of the hard work of a lot of people. Right, and still to this very day getting paid at a fraction of what a man's being paid for a same or lesser job, but I won't start. How did you feel watching your words come to life in the movie? I mean, what was that like to write something and then get to see it on the biggest screen there is? It, it was it was amazing. The first time I saw it, I think I was kind of in a dream state, just like you know, I can't believe this is actually happening, um, you know. And uh, you, you know, I I, I saw awesome the movie, and you know, I, you know, when I saw the final movie, I was just so impressed with, um, you know, all the work. That, I mean, this was a real team effort. Um, you know, they, you know, there were so many people involved in making this happen, and um, I am, I'm thrilled. I love the movie. I've seen it like six times. I'm going to see it two more times this week. Well, my daughter loved it. My girlfriends loved it. Everyone has just been raving about it, and this is much deserved success. So we wish you luck with the NAACP Image Awards and every place else that the movie is getting credit. We are expecting great things. Thank you so much for being with us, Margot. Kickstart your day at 7 and get the news you need from the perspective you want. News One Now with Roland Martin every weekday morning at 7 on TV One.